Now we're going to turn to the extreme weather that people in Buffalo will be talking about for years. A confirmed EF1 tornado cutting through a mile and a half stretch of the city. So many of you getting out your phones and capturing videos just like this one. Now the tornado came off Lake Erie and first touched down at what will soon be Ralph Wilson Centennial Park. It crosses over the 190, did the most damage right there on the lower west side, but then continued over busy streets like Niagara, Elmwood, Delaware, and made it all the way to Tupper by the 33. At its peak, it was about three football fields wide, with the National Weather Service estimating wind gusts hit 90 miles per hour. Aaron Reynolds is a meteorologist with the Buffalo Office of the National Weather Service, and he joins me now live. I really appreciate you taking some time for us here, and I know we anticipated that there was a severe weather risk yesterday. Uh, no one really thought we were in for a tornado risk, why, right? When that happens, you put out a tornado watch, certainly no tornado warnings. What was Doppler telling you, and what can you tell us about um, what you've learned about this tornado? Um, as far as what radar Doppler was uh, indicating to us. It was very hard. It, it was not always very definitive with this uh, t particular tornado. Um, and with these quick spin ups, it can be very hard to tell. And uh, um, with this particular one, it fell in between the radar and we only get radar um, data every five minutes. And so the situation can change really quickly, right? Am I correct that this went um, actually sort of started, it seems, over southern Ontario and then went over the lake and then came um, into Buffalo? And how unique is that particular scenario? That's correct. It started over in Canada and then it um, crossed over and into our waters and then also into the Buffalo metro uh, metropolitan area. Um, and this is a very um, rare event. In fact, the last occurrence that we had was a water spout that came on land briefly, and that occurred in 2017 and was reported by the United States Coast Guard. Aaron, you and your colleagues there at the National Weather Service were able very quickly to confirm that this was a tornado. I know that you actually go out and do a site survey and you look at damage and this and that, but you also rely on witness accounts and video. And in this case, we had a ton of video because it happened right downtown. I mean, so many people were looking out their windows maybe while they were at work and capturing all that video. How did that factor into all this? That is correct. Um, once we started receiving the video, we knew we had a uh, tornado on the ground and we sent out quickly sent out a, a survey team. Um, it was uh, convenient that we're located pretty close to the Buffalo metro area and uh, able to get this survey done fairly quickly for um, everyone. It was remarkable yesterday when we got the news that we've had five tornadoes now in western New York so far this year. Of course, we had four on one day um, last month and then the, the one yesterday. Statewide, we've now broken a record that's existed for as long as they've been keeping records, the most tornadoes ever in a single year. Um, what's going on? I think that's just sort of the question people are asking. I mean, it's been a heck of a summer. That, that is correct. I mean, we've broken the state record. We've had 26 for the state. Um, here in our county warning area that we cover, we've had 10. Um, just the storm systems are lining up and um, coming at the right time at peak heating during the afternoon and daytime and um, the right ingredients are there. And then this is the result. I know a lot of people still cleaning up, but it's interesting to get your insight on on how this happened um, and what we've learned about it. Um, any final thoughts from you in terms of, of what stands out about this particular tornado with its its size, its wind speeds, that sort of thing? Uh, nothing that stands out other than the fact that it um, hit a populated area and it was the first one that we've recorded so far in the Buffalo metro area yeah. um, since uh, modern times. Yeah, people have lived here their entire lives. They've never heard of, of something like this. No, um, just the only thing is, is that, you know, keep in touch with the forecast and uh, no weather radio and all your weather source information's out there that you can get to stay alert. Absolutely, um, great advice. Great to get your perspective on this. Uh, Aaron Reynolds with the Buffalo National Weather Service. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.